G'day folks, it's Patrick from Patty Joe Cooking here. Now I've got a quick question for you. Do you like spicy lamb on pita bread? Well, do you, punk? Well, I know that I do. So let's go make some. So here are the ingredients, uh, most of them, that are going to make up this delicious recipe. The most important one, I suppose, is the lamb. Aleppo pepper, this is a delicious sort of spicy pepper. Uh, flat leaf parsley, we, we don't use any of that curly rubbish. And we've got a variety of different, oh, sorry, I've chucked the right there. Peppers, red, green, yellow, an onion. Uh, we won't be using the banana. And as I say, you've got your parsley, your um, capsicums, just roughly chopped, just like that, nothing special. Chop it like this, get all those seeds out, get rid of them. You can even just tear it up with your hand because all of this is going to get chucked in a food processor. Just chuck this stuff in. Because it's such a small blender of sorts, I'm only going to put in a little amount at a time. And uh, hopefully this works. Woohoo! Ah. It's done a pretty good job. Now I'm going to do this with all of that and I'll be right back. Now here's the end result of all that blending. It's a big sort of mess in there, that's all the veggies. But there is an unbelievable amount of moisture in all of this. I'm gonna grab our lamb mince. Chuck it in there. And then we're gonna combine all of this into that. I'm gonna add my Aleppo pepper. Now I've got that much of it and I will use that much of it. I usually go quite heavy on the salt because I love salt, but I hesitate to sort of say, oh, it's half a teaspoon or two tablespoons, because everyone's taste different. My advice is put the minimum amount. You can always add salt later, all right? Um, some cracked black pepper. And Bob's your uncle. Now the bit I enjoy the most, you get stuck in with your hands, clean hands of course. And we're gonna combine all of this. We've got this stuff, delicious. Trust me, it's delicious. And the secret ingredient, well, it's not really so secret, is it? Is this pita bread. Now, I mean, the, the classic recipe calls for making your own dough. You could do that, like a pizza dough or something similar. Here, let's swap this over. So I'm gonna put this, this meat on here, just like that, and spread it out. Now, the only thing to know is that you should spread it out to cover all the corners because in my, I've made this before and in my experience, when you put it in the oven or under the grill, the edges are always the first to burn and it creates smoke and it's nasty and it's not nice. So just try and get the meat mixture all the way around the edges, just like that. Look at this bad boy, straight out of the oven, steaming hot, delicious. I'm gonna dress it with a few little things such as a bit of parsley, Dump some on there like that. Come on, parsley. And then sprinkle with some lemon juice. Now I would stop here because that's traditional the way that's traditionally the way you would eat it. Fold it up and eat it. But I'm gonna add one more ingredient. Some cheese. How does that look, eh? Let me have a taste. I'm gonna have a try of this. I can't wait. Fold it up. Look at that. Oh, mate. Mate, I'm telling you, delicious. You got the spices in there from the Aleppo pepper. The tanginess from the lemon is unbelievable. Absolutely delicious. Try it, like it, folks. You're gonna love it. I'm, I'm sure of it. 
And until next time, have a great day. See ya. Well, do ya, punk?